Hey YouTubers, I'm Jacob and this is a how-to video for changing out the thermostat on a 1970s Ford 400. This also applies to the 351M. I've included the product links, the tools and products I'm using today in the description below. So make sure to click on those, check them out. All right, let's get right into it. Make sure you have your new thermostat, gasket, and RTV prior to starting this project. I'm installing a 180 degree thermostat. Start off by draining down the radiator and cooling system. All right, so I've gone ahead and drained down my cooling system. I'm changing out my radiator, doing a total overhaul on the cooling. Let's go ahead and remove our hose. thermostat came out with it clean. I just changed this out recently, so it seems like the RTV really held on there. All right, I'm gonna clean that up. So I think it's a good idea before cleaning the hole up to plug the opening to the engine block. That way it doesn't get all that debris and stuff down in there from cleaning it. Make sure to scrape the old gasket off and clean up all surfaces on the block and on the outlet. Set my thermostat down in here just to test the fit here. You want it to seat down in, and it should have like a groove that it fits in. All right, now I'm going to add RTV sealant to the seal and then apply it to over the top here. So it's going to go over it just like that once I get the sealant on. I'm going to coat both sides. All right, like that. And I'm just going to place it down on there. Line the holes up. All right, so I cleaned up my screws. I got everything ready. It's all cleaned up. I'm going to have the, the bolts in them like this. Kind of help me guide in. Get them started by hand before using the impact to uh, tighten them up so that I don't cross thread. All right, let's torque it down. There's the temp sensor, which is right down there. I'm gonna go ahead and take the end reader piece off. It just pulls straight off like that. And this does go off the coolant level, so you want to make sure it's drained down a little bit more before you remove this, otherwise it could cause quite a bit of mess. So I'm going to try and just swap them out real quick. Replacing the temp sender is optional, but if you're battling overheating issues, this could be an easy replacement. As you can see, having all the accessories and water pump off will make this job much easier. Seems like it's on there now, finally. Connect everything up that I took apart.
if you were putting yours back together, ready to run, this is where you hook your hose back up to your coolant line. Make sure you top off your coolant. Thanks for watching this how-to video. I've included the link to the products and tools I'm using today in the description below. So make sure to click on those and check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for many more videos on 70s series trucks, especially this Ford Bronco and my 2015 F-150. Thanks for watching.